All right. Quick primer on the use of QuickTime to capture screen recordings on your Mac. I use MacBook Pro. I use MPEG Stream Clip. So, on the desktop, we go to QuickTime Player. Under File, New Screen Recording. This little down arrow to the side. We're going to use internal microphone so it's going to pick up my voice. I want to show mouse clips because I may use it to say this defender here, notice his feet, etc. Drive here, secondary defender. So I want to leave my arrow turned on. So our settings are all good to go. And I say record. Click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen, end the recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar, which will be up here. Okay, so I'm going to drag to just show the portion of the screen that includes the video, something like that, and I'm going to start recording. See the stop button appears up here. I need to now drill a click down to get to the MPEG stream clip uh, viewer and I begin play. Pass to the wing, shot, rebound. Two players on the floor. Was the contact legal? Was the contact illegal? That's our question. So if we rewind, I have the ability to talk about the play over. I can give feedback to the officials on the play. Right, so let's talk about the legal guarding position. Right, that leg is extended. We have the illegal contact. Is the player shooting? We need to make that evaluation. Does this call need a whistle? We have two players on the floor. All these variables, but you can provide that feedback um, while the play is going on, you can rewind it, you can play it in slow motion, etc. And you can do subsequent plays as well. So I find it an excellent way to provide feedback on plays by doing voiceover. You may find it valuable as well, and this is all how to do it. So I'm finished now with my screen recording. Obviously there's extra uh, but I can, I can edit that, that out later in my editing program. But I'm going to stop the screen recording. And there it is. And I can save. In a, you know, let's say I call this feedback no call 01. It's on the desktop. It's there, I can open it up in my editor, I can trim it down, but... All right, that is how I use QuickTime Player to do screen on-screen recording, which allows me to put my voice over a video um, for the purposes of sharing that Sub, you know, in whatever fashion you may choose. All right, that's all I have for now. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Check the links below for additional videos. Share this video with other officials as well. Thank you.